Well, Maurice Misalowski, here we are at the Atex Symposium on the wonderful Sunshine Coast. Now, you're a bit like me, obviously a little bit sparse on the top, but you're a futurist. You're Mr. Technology in terms of the future. I sat there in your presentation, which we'll put a link to online on Global Travel Media, and I was stunned by the stuff you were talking about and the change. And, you know, when you're talking about young people and the way they deal with technology today, and you're quite right, sitting with my son and daughter in Cairns last week, they were sitting there with their phones and they were just giving me a bit of space. Mm. But tell me, for somebody who's a tourism operator in Australia, whether they operate a resort or a reef tour or whatever, how is all this technology going to impact on their business and how can they maximize it to take financial advantage of, of technology moving forward? Technology really is a tool. I mean, that's all that it is. It should be thought of as a spanner or a hammer. No more. Let's not get excited about it in any other sense. But what this new technology allows us to do is to connect with our guests. The industry we're in really is about offering that superlative service regardless of what we do. We really want to make a heart and soul connection. Even with the best of intention, you know, even with the best of intention that we might have, we can't always give the guests what they want. And often that's because the guest doesn't know what they want yeah. until they want it. So how can you answer a question that they don't know to ask Absolutely, yet? yeah. So the reality is with technology, they can ask the question, you provide the answers in a format that's available to them ongoing, mm. whether it's YouTube or in a website or material that's produced by other people who've been there and you've you've brought it back into a central portal mm. or whatever. So there's a richness that's available in the virtual space to your guests that says to them, please, you must come and ask us any questions you want whenever you want. First activity is always with the people in this resort, in this space. But at times you'll want to know something, you'll want to see something. As a secondary activity, jump onto technology, have a look around, see and find what you want. And really what we're saying to you is that we insist that you have a terrific time here. We want mm. you to get the most out of it. Mm. And whether it's through our people or through the technology, we've done mm. everything we can do to get that experience. Isn't it part as well of um, actually having the experience of being at a resort or a destination or whatever before you even leave home? Yes. So your link is already there. The, 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 the business, if you like, or the place you're going to is drawing you in through technology and you're actually enjoying it. And what about airlines in all this space though? Because you know, airlines, I suppose, have been so much of a commodity in the past, right? But in my view, going on a plane is really exciting, and I want it to be part of the trip, you know? I want it to be part of the holiday. How can they draw you in? Because they're not using this technology yet. They're not. Actually, I must say, from a selfish viewpoint, I don't really want them to in a lot of ways. It's my, it's my little oasis of not yeah. being able to be contacted. That's true. But you're right. What, for many people, is it's a chore. I mean, yeah. It's a chore. They sit there, and they're almost in a zombie format for eight hours, ten hours. Yeah. And if it's long haul, it's even worse. Yeah. Technology really allows them to experience the world, even though they're stuck in that tube even though they're flying across space mm. it'll let them connect with family because already in America you can use the internet yeah. you can use Skype you can't make calls yet but you can make Skype I don't know what the difference is but yeah. there is that alter there is that difference between them yeah. and you can really make it purposeful and useful it's a great way for the airline also we've got British Airways at the moment who are using iPads instead of yep. instead of sheets backwards and forwards between pilot and ground Excellent. so the yeah. iPads being used to update information which mm. makes it real time makes it quicker it's being used in cabin as well to provide entertainment, to provide information into, into the people that are flying. Mm. So it's really, again, that bridge, that conduit, which says we care about you, mm. we want to give you whatever it is you'd like. Again, it can be physical, but this case can be virtual. Mm. It can be an experience on board. Mm. But what's also interesting is that on board, you can begin the experience, as you've said, with mm. where you're about to go. That's right. I mean, we all see those wonderful five-minute clips when we're about to land of where it is and where the bus stop is and yeah, what people are you, doing. You're panicking about where the hell is your passport That's and exactly everything else it. by that point. Yeah. At that time, I don't yeah. really, I'm not paying no. any attention whatsoever. Thank you. It's a nice thing to do, yeah. but my headspace isn't there at yeah. all. Whereas technology says, look, anywhere on the flight, just yeah. pull it out. Yes. Go and do this destination. I know screens do it. I get that, that we can yeah. pull a screen and do and see all of that. But technology, the way we're talking about it, is really interactive. Mm. It's not about you having to look for anything. It's not for you to deep dive. Yeah. It just is naturally, intuitively available yeah. to you when and where you want it. Just getting back to social media for a second. I mean, we've got you know YouTube, we've got Facebook, we've got Google this and Google that, and uh, you know Pinterest and all this sort of stuff, right? How how do you resolve? I mean, I suppose it's a bit. You know, it sounds like going to the cinema to watch a movie, right? Which movie do you go and watch? Which side do you on? My big challenge at the moment is that I want to communicate in terms of social media. I want you know people to know what I'm doing and whether it's Twitter and I'm in Vietnam or whatever. But I could spend half the day updating all this stuff. So how do you know what's the one to use, or how or how can it be done in an integrated manner? Great question. Let me answer that in thirty seconds. Okay, yeah. <laughs> we can do that. So the answer is this: it's a strategic thing. Look, yeah. it's communication. You don't pick up the phone and just talk to anybody. You don't send the facts out to anybody. I mean, there was always a purpose for yeah. doing both. Social media is about figuring out what it is you want to say, who it is you want to say it to, and how best they want the conversation mm. set. 
what I suggest is you use tools to listen. I always start with listening. Yeah. And tools are simple things like Google Alerts, which is free, Perfect. Hootsuite, which is free. Mm. You go on there, you put keywords in, which should be your brand, your names, your regions, whatever it is mm. you want to know about, and that'll go away and bring information to you whenever it finds it. Yeah. You don't need to sit and watch it, it'll be there when you it's come there. in a day, a week, yeah. a month. And then start to listen to where the conversations are being had about the things that are interesting to you, yeah. that are your client base, the things you think you should be involved with. Mm. And that's always my first steps. Go for the low-hanging fruit. Figure out where people are, answer their questions, get involved in their conversations, and you'll find your feet from there. Mm. Now, most, um, you know, I was just stunned by your presentation today. Sincere congratulations. I know you've got a plane to catch, and because you haven't been able to come here virtually yet, I do say to I people, a bit like Sue Hoon, I, you know, I'm actually not here at all. I'm a hologram. I'm sitting at home having a glass of wine. Where can people find out information about your performances and about your futuristic approach to the travel industry and other, and other industries, I presume, as well? Absolutely. So I've done about 143 industries over the years. Whoa. So it's businessfuturist.com. Yeah. Businessfuturist.com. If you want to see some of the radio, television, other things, it's businessfuturist.me is the blog. Brilliant. Well, look, I think we'll just switch off the transporter now and we'll virtually send you back and say, Scotty, beam me up. Look forward to it. Maurice, thank you. Thanks.